Today we are working on uh, chapter 7, problem 10. And this uh, programming challenge is to create uh, a lottery application. And um, we have to generate five uh, randomly generated numbers. And then we have to give the user to enter five numbers and we have to compare uh, whether the user match uh, any of the randomly generated numbers. And if there is if there is a match, we have to display it. And if the user matches all five numbers, then we have to uh, show a grand prize to the user. And also we have to show the indexes uh, of these matches, um, if there is any. So let's, let's start um, the program. You will say lottery. Not lottery numbers, sorry guys. We will say just delete. It is not lottery numbers. I should say new. The programming challenge is called lottery application. It doesn't really matter, but I, I like to be consistent with the book. Um, so we have to create a an int array called lottery numbers it contains five elements then they said in the constructor of the class um, we have to generate uh, five numbers and each number uh, ranges between zero through nine so we have to use the random class random int i zero i less than five then we say uh, lottery of i equal random next int and to get a range from zero to nine is ten after that they said we have to return uh, the the lottery numbers array so all I have to do is to get lottery numbers. After that, we have to return an array list of integers for the indexes. I will say check uh, numbers. It will take an array we'll call dex. So first we have to create an array list of, of integers. We'll call indexes. If there are any um, any indexes that match, then we'll say int counter uh, zero. Then a boolean will say match. After that, we will create um, a header for the uh, for this method. We'll say uh, percent one s percent 20 s new line will say your numbers and we'll say winning numbers then a new line and we say for int i zero i less than five i is incremented by one then we'll say counter no um match equal to false because to start with there is no matches we assume there is no matches um, then after that we'll say if x of i equal to lottery of i um, if there is a match we want to say match equal to true we want also increment the counter by one, we'll say we will uh, print uh, the numbers. We'll say one s, nineteen s, five uh, s, a new line. Say pix of i for our numbers and the lottery numbers. We will say i. Also, we have to check. If the two uh, if the two numbers matched, 
and the easiest way uh, to check uh, if they match is to use ter ternary um, operator. That's why I'm using the Boolean match. So if the if the program comes here, that basically means there is a match. So to check uh, this, we will say if there is a match, what do we want to? Um, we we'll just say if there is a match, what what do we want to uh, show? We will say match. Uh, if there uh, if there is no uh, match, we will say. Uh, no match. Actually, this will not uh, be displayed, um, but I'm just adding it because if if there is no match, this will not be executed. Uh, the else statement will be executed. We will say um, f one s uh, percent uh, nineteen as a new line. We want to uh, print picks of i and then lottery of i to print uh, the lottery numbers. So they said if there if the user's numbers match all five numbers, uh, that basically means the person won the lottery. So we'll say if counter is equal to 5 we will say the uh, you win the grand uh, prize um, and lastly we want to return uh, the indexes I forgot after we f after we get a match we have to add the index of of the match by saying indexes that add to uh, to the um, to the array. So I think we are done for this method. Let's let's create a main method for this uh, class. We'll call uh, main. And we we'll say BSFM, and we will create a an array. We'll call user numbers. We'll, it will have five slots. Also, we have to create a scanner. A scanner system dot in. So we have to ask the user for the five numbers. And that uh, will say uh, num inter, inter number. Don't want to say this. Then we will say user of i equals scanner next int. After that, we have to instantiate our um, lottery application. Okay. What's the problem? Oh. oh. Okay. The problem is that I didn't put the right. I didn't put the class in the right package. But I will just move to seven ten. That's why it's not. Now it now it should be in the right package, and so now it, it will catch lottery application. We'll call app new lottery application. 
So the lottery application method check uh, numbers will return an array list. So we'll say array list of integers. We'll say result equal uh, uh, check uh, numbers. It takes the user numbers. So we have to um, sh uh, show the indexes that matched if there is any. So you the indexes that matched are and say result let's run the program and see if we got it right okay inter one I'll say four five six three four hmm there is no match here are my numbers and here is the randomly generated numbers and here is the indexes that match which is empty so i don't want to i want to give a space between the prompts and the results so we will what we will say is maybe if we add here so let's try it again Tree, 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 tree. Hmm. Yeah, there is a space now, and there is a match. The last, uh, the last index. There is a match. And here, um, the indexes that matched are four. The index four. Because it starts zero, zero, one, two, three, four. Let's run it one more time. We will say two, three, four, nine, and one. There is no match at all. Two, three, four, nine, one, seven, zero, two, six, one. It's no match. So I think uh, that is what they want us to do. We created the constructor. We generated. We generated the five integers. Each um, element uh, range is zero through nine. As you can see, the output. Each um, number is between zero. On nine, and we we returned um, we returned the uh, the array, and uh, we returned the indexes that matched, and we displayed the indexes and the numbers that match as well. So I think. Um, I think we fulfilled all the requirements for these programming challenges. If you have any questions, uh, let me know, guys, and I'll see you next time.